What's up, my dear friends of the world? Paul the Trombonist here. And in this video, I wanna share with you on some audition preparation tips. My name is Paul and I've dedicated my life to the trombone. We were one of the first trombone channels on the internet. So if you've been with us for a while, great to have you here. If you're new, welcome. So let's get right into it. So look, auditioning, yeah, it can have a lot of nerves. It can be a lot of stressful. So how do we handle this? Well, one of the things I like to do when preparing for an audition is one of the reasons that we get really nervous is we just simply don't know the material well enough that we're going to be auditioning with. And you're gonna find that the more comfortable you get, the less nerves you have and the more excitement you actually have to show that you know what you're doing. There's also a very thin veil between what the body feels as excitement and nervousness. So have an awareness of that. Am I really nervous or am I excited? And have an awareness and then you'll be able to adjust accordingly and have a more pleasurable experience. There's that. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is really know ahead of time of what is expected at the audition. If you can talk to somebody that has done a similar audition and get a heads up of how it went, so you can better prepare yourself, that would be really great. After you know what to, is in the audition, usually they'll tell you exactly what's in it. The things that probably won't be in it are sight reading and scales. So just know your scales, <laughs> okay? <laughs> know your scales. And then the sight reading is the aspect where you probably need to prepare for and how do you prepare for sight reading? Well, it's just a continuous thing. The more you continuously prepare for sight reading, the better you're gonna get at it. Depends on what the audition's for. Sometimes you don't need a sight reading, sometimes you do whatever so i will make another video specifically about sight reading tips but i'll just give you a couple little tips right now so sight reading the more you can just have random pieces of music and just put them out there and then just put the metronome on and then go through it and then don't work it out once it's done it's done go to the next one what that does is it trains your body to get it right the first time because you don't have the luxury of going back and working it out so if you just give yourself one shot okay i didn't do it right next okay i did it right next you just keep going like that it trains your body to get it right the first time so that's one tip i can give you probably the best tip i can give you for sight reading you just have a stack of of music and just go through it like that so after you feel good about the material the repertoire that you're auditioning with and everything the next thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to get used to performing in front of other people so a lot of the times people will practice something and they'll have it under their fingers and everything and then what happens is they go out and audition and all of a sudden it's so different why is it different well there's people there and there wasn't people in the practice room, okay? So let's manufacture scenarios like that before we get into the audition. So you practice it alone first, and then we need to have a bridge. Where people miss out is they don't have a bridge. The bridge is manufacturing a situation where there are other people around where you do mock auditions. So there's that. And it can be people that are around you, your friends and your family. It means you might have auditioned and do it to as many different people as possible and around as many different people as you can. So that will really help the nerves out because you're gonna feel more comfortable doing this. And if you can, do it in front of other people that play your instrument. And I would actually recommend to even hire a private instructor just to coach you on the audition and maybe get a couple different perspectives and opinions. If that, if all that did was land you what you were auditioning for, would it be worth it? Yeah, I would say it would be, okay? So there's that. One thing I learned from Alex Isles is that you can actually, they found that if you mimic a elevated heart rate in your practice routine when you come to be auditioning in real life, because our heart will sometimes go faster of the anxiety and stress and nervousness and excitement we can actually prepare ourselves better so one technique that alex isles hipped me up to is to just exercise and run up and down the stairs a bunch of time and then do a mock audition like that and practice like that at the elevated heart rate after you exercise because that will recreate some of those conditions for when you have to do an audition pretty cool right so those are some tips to help you with the audition now obviously the more you have it under your fingers and the more you are comfortable the more you're gonna feel excited about auditioning I've had instances where when I was younger I wasn't as prepared and I was not as excited and then I had instances where I was like I practice this thing like crazy there is no way that I could possibly mess up on this thing I'm actually excited and looking forward to going in front of these people 
and performing in front of them to show them what I work so hard on. And those always went so great because I was prepared. So that's my advice for you. If you found value in this, all I ask is for a little like and subscribe. We're on our mission to 100,000 subscribers so we can put that YouTube award to show our love of the trombone with the world. And we're over halfway there right at the time of the recording of this. And appreciate you all so much. If you found value in this video, you're gonna love this video. So go ahead and check out this video. This is Paul the Trombonist, my little dog JJ. He came and joined us while we were filming this video. He says, hi. If you know who he's named after, let us know in the comments. All right, appreciate you. Bye-bye.